Okay, good day everyone. Um, it seems to be the month of OSDs for me. This is a micro OSD, micro minim OSD. As you can see, I've already sold it across the communication side. This is the comm side, the TX and RX side that you will um, need to connect to with your FTDI adapter programmer. You need to connect to this side. Okay, so that there is as it's laid out. You've got your 5 volt in. Okay, pretty sure it's uh, positive negative. But I'll throw a drawing up of this. Okay, so on this side here, we have ground where I'm covering. Video in ground, video out. So you'd be coming from your camera in, so that's in and ground, and then out would be ground out to your BTX. So that's going to grab the image so it can overlay the text onto the image. Starting from here, Bat one, bat two, RSI, current, ground. Um, just got it sitting on a lens cap. We just turn it over. I put the pins on it. And there's our um, IC chip does most of the work for us. Now, just out of interest while we're doing this, let's just slide that aside as we slide into image. Okay, here it is, that same chip on board that PCB I did a video of. And it's, the, it's right next to it is the chip that's on the other side of the micro. So on that other side there is the same chip as that was sitting beside it before. Just slip that underneath. Get it back into position. So this OSD is going to go into here like this and it sits in there. Now that's not a bad shot, that's actually showing you the slight difference we have all the way around is actually proud. So if you just did have holes and you just had straight pins, wouldn't fit into these boards. So you've got to solder these sort of pins let me see if I can get this in shot on there, all right? And that's going to fall through the hole. Let me just take this out of shot for a second and do it manually here. Okay, so you can see the pins laid out there. If I could just straighten that up so it would be sitting the way it should be sitting. And they all get soldered into this PDB slash PCB. And that gives us our micro OSD straight onto the board. We have down the bottom, if you use the meter in between here, you can see as I've explained. Uh, let me just get that in shot. We've got... Bat one and two down here. Okay. RSI and current. And they are mapped through to this part here. Where you've got ground, current, RSI, bat two, bat one, ground again. You've got to now solder that in place and then drop the bent pins in 
solder the top of the bent pins first, get it all nice and straight, and then solder the bottom of the bent pins in. Now that's supposed to be sitting over the top of a buzzer. So I'm going to dig through my gear before I solder that in, and we'll whack a buzzer on there so it gets buried. I'm sure I've got the original, I think it came with this board, if not I've got a few I haven't used, and we'll drop that in. This drops in to this uh, ZMR clone PDB PCB board and at first I went oh shit it's too small when I dropped it on there but of course they yeah, give you the bent pins and you got to put them on it's one heck of a soldering job for me and I don't think I'm going to do it on video and show you me groveling away getting it all nice and neat but I'll do it off video and I'll show you it in there when we discuss the flight controller. Well, let's discuss the flight controller now. Unbeknownst to me, the NAS board had changed between revision 5, 4, 3, 2 which would have all fit on this particular board. Perfect what it was intended for. We're now up to revision six, aren't we, in the nays? And revision six, when I put it over the top, you can see that, lo and behold, yes, they did. They moved their USB plug. So instead of being opposite the row of motor pins that get soldered in there the USB is supposed to be on the other side it's not it's now facing forward which is right in the way basically of the minim OSD micro minim OSD that goes in there and when you've got the buzzer soldered underneath at that height and you've got that sitting at that height and you've got the pins on it you really won't even be able to get around the corner and plug in. Even if you did want to struggle around the post that's here and try and plug it in, I, you're not going to achieve it because the minimum OSD is in the way. Micro OSD. So, revision six, Steve-O. You should have did a little bit more investigation to find out about your nays boards. Okay, so I have revision 5 on order, which brings out the USB over on this side again, next to these pins here. And as you can see, these now has the five pins all in a row, because it's an updated board. Okay, so that's where we're up to with that, guys. I'll show you it all soldered together in the next week or two when the revision 5 board arrives um, that I've purchased because I really did want to make this the example of why these boards have, are made um, they are a very good idea especially for those who are addicted to the ZMR like I am okay thanks for watching that short video on um, the Minim OSD and the reason we bought this small micro Minim OSD is for the ZMR clone PDB that I had on another vid. Now um, I hope the guys who have been following along with this can wait another week or two because of the stuff up on the flight controller but as soon as we've got that flight controller in I'll whack it on the board and we'll finish the job. Okay guys, so thanks again for turning up to uh, MQIS Steve's vids and uh, watching along as we do the stuff. And please remember to subscribe, like or dislike and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, thanks.